Right now, cities and towns across Maine are celebrating Pride Month. As New Summer Maine's Alice Haskell explains, in one community, it's a chance to show resilience and heal after tragedy. It hasn't dampened the mood at all. Pride Month is many things. Celebrations like ours gives folks a chance to sort of let their hair down uh, figuratively. It's a statement. People here bounce back. Of strength and unity. It's on full display here in Lewiston during its first Pride celebration following the mass shootings in October. 18 people were killed. LGBTQ Pride Committee Chair Alex Pine says it's the reason they decided to go big this year. We felt like, you know, we owed it to the community to really provide a lot of space for joy and a lot of space for celebration. Eight months after the tragedy, Pride is part of the recovery. What's come out of that is people kind of wanting to gather together um, and knowing that that's important, that um, these things shouldn't stop us from wanting to continue forward. This year, the Pride Committee is partnering with local businesses. It was hard. We had to close for a few days while we were in lockdown. Following the shootings, Sherry Withers opened up her shop, Downtown Handmade, to provide a safe space for folks to express themselves. We had a giant canvas that we put out and let people just kind of draw or write. She's offering up her space once again for a Pride event. Kind of using it as a therapeutic space. Exactly what Pride organizers say this city needs. Uh, allowing people space to be themselves is, is, is critical. And they're not afraid to come out to support one another because the point of pride. It's sort of not letting um, this defeat us and kind of instead making it, making us stronger on the other end. Is that love always wins. In Lewiston, Alex Haskell, News Center, Maine.